in my hand, I arguably have some of the best looking irons that have been made over the last 10 years. Better than that, I'm actually going to sell them with no reserve as I have no idea what they are currently worth. However, I do think I've got a bargain and I'm very excited to show you exactly what I've got. So before I give these irons a hit, just have a look at how good these irons are. I can't get over them. I need to tell you exactly how I got hold of these. So firstly, I have to thank Brian. Brian's a subscriber to the channel. He reached out about two weeks ago and he just asked a general question. Um, I've got a contact um, that's able to get me two sets of different irons of either these or C300s. 240 pounds, I think, for the C300s or 260 pounds for these. Um, uh, and I said, for playing reasons, um, uh, C300 would be more than viable um, however these are 260 pounds from three to pitch and wedge is an absolute bargain I'd buy five of them now unbeknownst to me Brian and then came back and said Simon if you want a set of them I'm more than happy to get them for you and post them to you and that's exactly what he did so we've been back and forth over the last two weeks um, and these clubs arrived yesterday and I've got three to nine iron brand new I'll explain again in a bit and then a pitching wedge as well for 260 pounds which is an absolute steal and Brian I can't thank you enough first of all for sourcing these so I can give them a hit because I've always wanted to hit these irons but second of all for keep giving me the best bargain in the world so to give you a bit of a backstory on these irons if you didn't already know these came back out in 2014 which was the 100th year anniversary of Wilson staff they brought these out basically to celebrate um, uh, some of their most successful irons the 1971 button back iron and to be honest I would have no idea about that iron or the research and I have to thank Rick Shields as I kind of watched his review to get some kind of idea what these actually are because even though they look great there's not that much information on these irons irons and there's hardly any of them out there trying to get hold of these if it wasn't for Brian I've looked on many websites many forums etc etc these things are like gold dust oh also Rick congratulations on your million subscribers very well done to yourself um, incredible work to you and your team um, and thank you for the review on these irons so I can give these guys a bit more information about them unlike what Rick said however it's a milled face not forged as I believe. I don't believe it's forged, but I believe it's a milled face. These are forged irons. Three to nine iron I've got, and they are very much blades. Like blade blades, like true loft blades. Like the seven iron is a 35 degree seven iron, which is what a seven iron was designed to be. So these aren't going to be long hitting. They're not going to be forgiving. They're going to be um, uh, very controlling, very shot shaping, very... Uh, hurt your hands first thing in the winter's morning but they're definitely not going to give you distance so as far as i'm aware wilson staff themselves because these did come up from a very reliable source potentially are going to be selling three to nine iron in these irons again three to nine iron the reason i got a pitch and wedge is because brian's a legend and his contact kind of sourced me one however that is why this has already been hit and i'm actually going to hit this because i'm not going to cry if i scuff it um, and also why it's got a project x 6.0 in it with a different grip altogether compared to the brand new set that i've got here with all the wrappers on that's got a dynamic gold r300 and a wilson staff grip etc etc so the pitching wedge has got a completely different shaft got a different grip um, uh, and overall potentially is going to perform differently to the rest of the set but here's my argument should you be hitting these clubs these to me to see more of a trophy a celebration of wilson staff over the last hundred years wilson staff themselves have had more major winners than any other manufacturer that ever has been and they have come up with an absolute gem now i know this club is near on seven years old now but it doesn't look it it does a fantastic combination i feel personally between modern technology when it comes to forging milled face production 
but then keeping the classic style, i.e. the ferrule, the shaft going through to the bottom of the head, um, the classic lettering and design on the bottom um, of the toe there, but then with the chrome plating, uh, the lovely design on the back there, very simple, very elegant, and to me, it would just be a shame, and I'm glad that this has actually been hit, because I wouldn't want to take the wrapper off, and I wouldn't want to give these a hit because it'd just be a bit of a shame. Trying to value these irons is very difficult because there's nothing that I can find, and I've been looking for near on two years now because I wanted to test and try these irons. Trying to get hold of them is impossible. But then again, not many people can play with them. So you've got this up and down side of very rare, especially in the condition that these ones are now, but at the same time, what are they going to be for? Are they going to be a decoration or are they actually going to be for you to use? That is why I'm struggling to find the price. So that's why I came up with the decision to put them on eBay for one pound. No reserve and whatever they go for, they go for. I'll leave the link down below if you do want to bid on these irons. But eBay is very good at determining a true price of a club whether it's old or new for example ping zing two irons at the moment which probably a lot of people just put in the skip now still sell for like 150 pounds with zero performance or tech or whatever and then on the other side of it you've got your ping g30 driver that still sells for 150 160 in good condition so it's very good at shifting through the marketing bull compared to performance because once thousands of people have tried and tested the equipment over the years no matter what the marketing is or the performance is the same drivers the same irons if you've been watching my channel for a while keep coming up in conversation because they were just better than the rest depending on what manufacturer it was or what club it was for example the m2 2016 driver unbelievable ping g5 whatever Ping G5, Ping G10, Ping G20 irons, whatever. Again, very valuable. That's why they keep their price so well. However, trying to value these be very interesting because as I said at the start, realistically, no one needs a blade, a true blade that is, with an R300 shaft in it. But it's sealed and it's brand new and there's hardly any of them out there. So I'm gonna put them up at one pound, no reserve see what they go for in a week's time because it'd be a very interesting experiment so how do they feel how do they perform now obviously i'm only going to hit the pitching wedge um, and you'll see a few swings now overall i was quite surprised how forgiving the pitching wedge actually is for whatever reason when you look down on the lower half of the bag so we're talking nine eight pitching wedge they look more forgiving they look tiny bit less blade like compared to the rest of the bag now it says fluid feel and i can only imagine that's because as you go up throughout the bag all the clubs feel the same weight because obviously longer the shafts obviously it's going to feel heavier and the heads for me personally just look like they get smaller up towards the top end of the bag therefore you can keep similar tempo um uh, tim similar rhythm when you're hitting the shots now i would have loved to hit the seven on I'd love to hit the three iron, but I'm not going to. I feel like a bit of a travesty. Hopefully one day I can come across a battered used one um, and I can put it through the test. However, in terms of sound and feel, they were delightful for 260 pounds. I've got these four. I should just probably put them in the bag, um, even with our 300 shafts. Now, I must say Project X 6.0, feels very balanced feels very heavy feels very much my kind of club um, uh, as soon as i started swinging the r300 you can automatically feel how much more lighter the overall club is and you can definitely feel a lot more weight at the end of the shaft rather than in the middle of it um, uh, now that's down to some particular taste i can guarantee a lot of players that uh, blade players want a heavy club they want the tempo to be slowed down they want to know exactly where the head is throughout the swing these do feel like they're going to launch very high which isn't the design of these clubs yes they've got traditional lofts yes you're not going to get distance on them but you want to be able to flight it on a windy day like today when it's 15 to 20 miles an hour into wind downwind side wind you want to have that pure flight and unfortunately i just don't think the r300 shaft is going to be able to give that for that particular person trying to get these reshafted as well is going to be a very difficult option as well and again that's why i have zero idea of what these are actually worth and that's why i'm going to put them no reserve go down to bidding best man wins because there's so many combinations we've got the history here we've got the story of 100 years of wilson staff the limited edition because i 
literally can't find these anywhere. Um, uh, they're the best looking irons I've ever had in my hand, but then they've got an R300 shaft in it. The three iron is so bladed that it's not gonna be for, the, uh, for everyone. So it's a very mixed match combination and that's why it's very difficult to judge or guess exactly what this set is worth. But I'm going to be putting up three to pitch wedge. Obviously pitching wedge isn't going to be brand new and it's going to have a different shaft. Um, uh, but overall I'm a big advocate for shouting out brands that aren't necessarily as popular or as big as some of the other giants. Wilson Staff make great eyes. They still do today. They do quite well in the UK but nowhere near as well as they should do. Just like Ben Ross, just like Lynx etc etc. And for £260, I mean that is close by the way, that is close to some of the prices for one club of clubs that have come out this year. Bear that in mind. So you can get one club or you can get a full set for £260. Obviously, I think that's trade price, so I don't think you'll be able to get this full set for £206. Brian, you've done me a very big favour. However, if I was to get fitted for a set of irons, I'd go back to 2014. Wilson Staff, if you want to hit me up. Um, uh, I would go back to this iron. Aesthetics, feel, I love the traditional quirkiness of it. Obviously, I'd have to have half an inch on the end, two degrees upright, and potentially get something a bit heavier and stiffer in the actual um, uh, head itself. But I think it just ticks so many boxes. I like being a bit quirky. I like being a bit out there. I don't like going down the same route as everyone else. And um, uh, I'm really, really happy with these. So yes, they will be sold. Be very interesting to see what they go for. By the way, if they go for less than 100 pounds, I'm buying them back. I don't care, I'm spending 380 quid on these irons. If they're going less than 100 quid, I'm buying them back and putting them in the bag. Um, uh, but yeah, hopefully they go to a worthy home. Hopefully either someone's gonna look after them, collect them, or even hit them. Um, uh, but I think it's a great story. I think it's a great story from Wilson Staff. I'll be really interested to try more Wilson Staff clubs in the near future as well. They're very much on my radar. Um, uh, and overall, they have produced, in my eyes, one of the best looking irons to ever be created. Big bold statement. Please comment down below if you agree or not. So guys, there you have it. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. Please leave it a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you are new. Catch you guys later.